Hello, this is Tom, Justin and Elliot from Editors and we are having a radio takeover here on Flux FM playing some songs that we like, that we love, maybe. Um, L, what do you want to, do you want to do the first one? Uh, sure, let's start with uh, The Cure, A Night Like This. Talk to us about The Cure, L. Um, yeah, they're basically my favourite band forever. Uh, and we were very fortunate, I guess, over the last couple of years to play some gigs with them. Uh, some festivals, which was pretty amazing, and we got to hang out with Robert uh, on the last night of the of the shows, and it was yeah, it was a pretty special time, really. And this is the one that goes on a night like this, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just like that. Okay. Yeah, that was the Cure, a night like this. So we picked these songs, kind of, we picked three or four each. This is how we came up with the list. So yeah. this next one is Justin's mm. one. Justin Lockie, talk to us. This is The Beatles, Don't Let Me Down. Essentially, I only chose it because it is, in my humble opinion, the best song ever written and recorded in modern popular music. Modern. Yeah, well, you know, it's well, in the modern era. It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right, um, cool. You know, you it's, 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 it. a, it's, it's one of the songs that they played on the, the last ever show, the rooftop show. Okay. But it's uh, from the Get Back Sessions. That was the Beatles, and I think we'll stay in the bees and play Bon Iver. And this is a song from his new album. Now, Bon Iver has a thing with song titles. You can't do it. <laughs> Which I would imagine makes it a DJ's nightmare. Um, this one is called Naim. Naim! <laughs> I believe. Um, the man needs to sort out his titles. Uh, I think I lo- he's just got a broken keyboard. <laughs> he's just not replaced it for three albums. <laughs> just sat there banging. It's like, oh, you, your cat locks on, mate. I reckon that's definitely it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, this is uh, one off his new record, which um, I think is my favourite from it. Okay, so that was Bon Iver, and we, well, um, my name is Tom. That's Justin. Hello. And I'm next to Elliot. Hello. We're from Editors. We're taking over the radio here on Flux FM. And the next song so that was my choice so Elliot you can go next mate what do you want to pick um, are you stay in the bees again or are you going to go we got more bees yeah we can stay in the bees yeah, yeah so uh, this next track is by the Blue Nile um, which I think collectively is one of our favourite songs we put it on in the dressing room a lot probably a bit too much actually um, but this track's called Tinseltown and the Rain and I think Blue Nile is sort of a pretty underrated band um, but yeah this track's amazing just listen for yourself Justin Yes, mate. You're up, you're up next, old boy. Right. Um, what, um, I gotten, do believe oh. I chose two other tracks. Yeah. Okay. And this one. Do you need to see the list? Mate? No, no. Okay. This one is um, let's keep it downbeat and miserable. Um, All apologies by Nirvana, which is um, what would you like to apologise about? I've got nothing to apologise um, <laughs> for yet today. Today. But, um, I don't know, but it's just a great tune. It's a great tune. And is this the one off Unplugged? <laughs> it is on Unplugged. It's, it's the great. last song on In Utero, their finest record. Okay. That's the one that didn't sell as many as the other records. When you were listening to Grunge Records, yeah. I, I wasn't. Yeah, I was but listening. I'm still listening to yeah, Grunge Records. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Different strokes for different... That's folks. exactly what it is. Okay, that was Nirvana. Um, let's play a song by Prefab Sprout, and let's play the song Appetite. When editors first signed their... First record deal, we signed with Kitchenware Records, a small independent label from Newcastle. Only thing that they'd really been known for was putting out a record by, well, signing Prefab Strike. There were other bands, but this was the, the biggest act that they'd put out. And their album, Steve McQueen, is a delight. Um, and I heard it after signing with the label. And um, yeah, they're just that brilliant kind of quirky British pop band. But I don't know. It's very 80s but wonderful. And this is called Appetite. Okay, that was Prefab Sprout. Um, I'm still Tom Smith. I'm still Justin Lockie. I'm still Elliot Williams. And we're still taking over the radio here on Flux FM. Um, who's up next? Elliot. Elliot's yeah, up next. I think I've got one more song. Yeah. Um, this is a David Berry track. Uh, and I find it pretty hard to pick Berry songs because there's a lot of very good ones, but I find that I come back to say, this one. When you say David Berry, do you say it in that weird accent? In your head? David Berry. Do you have a... Do you have a do you, yeah. <laughs> accent in your head when you say his name yeah, I do was a while was a wow but yeah this track uh, is actually a cover I think 
I don't know who it, who was the original writer. What album's this on? This is on Let's Dance, okay. so it's more so, more poppy David Bowie. Yeah. But um, I really love this track. It's called Criminal World, and you're gonna hear it now. Lovely pause, lovely pause. That was professional. Right then, David Bowie. I've, yeah, we do have a lot of bees in yeah. this list. Um, Kate Bush up next with Cloud Busting. Um, we just were out in a LA recording with Jack Knifley, and he was banging on about um, this album. Yeah. Um, and some of the more kind of the way that she treats her vocals and the way she approaches vocals is pretty unique, really. Kind of like from another world. Um, but this song, Cloud Busting, is one of my favourites. Yeah, it was That's, used on a TV moment recently as well. It? Was it? Sort of, yeah. Oh, I can't remember what, what TV moment was it, Elliot? <laughs> I can't remember. Was it Game of Thrones? No, it was, uh, I, I think it might have been Hand, was it the Handmaid's news? Tale. Uh, oh, right, it yeah. felt like yeah, a, it was, quite yeah. a uh, pivotal moment in the in the show and that track sort of really resonated. Streaming with me figures went through the roof. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah wonderful. Um, Kate Bush with Cloud Busting. Justin, what are we going to play next? We're going to play 1979 by Smashing Pumpkins. I don't know. Everyone likes this song. I like this song. Everyone I like this song. Even after I just said I didn't really yeah, like yeah, grunge. Yeah, but everyone likes this, like this song. song. I, I just think if you're going to come on the radio and play loads of good tunes and I, I reckon people listening are pretty, like, oh, I like this song. I think this like, record yeah, as well is pretty amazing, produced yeah. by a man that you both know. Yeah, who, who, yeah, produced by Flood, who made um, Edit's third record and a, a record for one of my old Art Rocky bands. So you can give, you can name them, you can give them a plug. I don't want to keep that. Okay, keep it back. And then um, so mysterious, weirdo. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one. And you know, you're welcome. Everyone's going to hear it and be like, "Oh, I like this." I'm like, "Yeah, it's all right. You're welcome. I picked it for you." It's just got that amazing West yeah. Coast yeah. American guitar sound. Yeah. All right, then. So that was Smashing Pumpkins with 1979. And the last song that editors are going to play in their radio takeover for Flux FM is Roy Orbison. She's a mystery to me. What do you think about Roy Orbison, Justin? Um, probably one of the most stylish dudes ever to walk the face of the earth. Yeah. That and the fact that he's got a timeless, timeless voice. Not many people sound like Roy Orbison. Mm. Nobody can sound like Roy Orbison. Or look like Roy Orbison. I mean, Russell, our bassist, in a certain light, can sometimes look a bit Roy I reckon if there was a person (laughs) who could pull it off with a pack of hair dye and some glasses, Russell Leach could be a version of Roy Orbison. But I think if you listen to any Roy Orbison tunes, they can, a lot of them could have been recorded last week. It's timeless stuff. Rolling Stone magazine just compiled a best hundred singers of all time. And where's Roy Orbison? Not near enough the top. Where is he? Sense. Like 30? Was, no, no, no. Who is number one? Don't say Beyonce. Freddie Mercury. I can't remember. I'd need to look it up. And that It might have been Aretha Frank- Franklin. Okay. I can see that. You can yeah. see that. Yeah, but anyway. I'll yeah. give him that. Yeah. But, but Roy, my not. main gripe was that Roy Orbison was nowhere near the top. Definitely not in the top ten. So we're putting him back on the top today. Yeah. I think probably after the show, he'll, they'll, they'll, yeah. amend, they'll amend their list. Through this and go, hang <laughs> on, we, we did make a mistake. Yeah. Okay, anyway, enjoy this. She's a mystery to me, um, and that's how it's done. Nice one. Thank you. Bye. Thanks.